Edgar Berlanga. <laughs> I don't know he's a super middleweight. Um, he, he had made a proclamation that he is the best super middleweight champion in the world. What did he say? Oh. The best super middleweight champion in the world. Excuse me? The best super middleweight champion in the world. <laughs> That, that's how he's dodging David Burrell. And we in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. <laughs> From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, Edgy, everybody got to get money back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Y'all know what it is, man. The doctors of the house, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. We are here today. Um, you know, I was a. Uh... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me let me compose myself. Usa. Usa. <sighs> okay, so today, you know, I'm just minding my business as usual. You know how I do, and um, I stumbled upon um, Edgar Berlanga. <laughs> I know he's a super middleweight. Um, he, he had made a proclamation that he is the best super middleweight champion in the world. What did he say? The best super middleweight champion in the world. Excuse me? The best super middleweight champion in the world. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! So I was like, okay, hold on. Before before we jump on his head, I was like, let me dig a little deeper. You know, maybe he meant he's maybe the world is a block in the hood that he grew up on, and you know, that's what he's referring to. He's the best super middleweight champion in the world. <laughs> or you know, I was like, no, nah, you know, maybe he meant that uh, he's the best super middleweight champion that hasn't proven himself against a good super middleweight as of, at this point in his career. I said, maybe he means that. I said, or, 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 you know what? You know, maybe he means that he's the best super middleweight Boricua. You know, shout out to my Puerto Ricans out there. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's what he means. Maybe he's, he means he's the best Puerto Rican super middleweight, you know? And I was like, you know, <laughs> you know, it, it was April Fool's Day. You know, it was April Fool's just a few days ago. So, you know, he could be, the joke could be on us. But it's like, come on, Edgar Belaga, man. You know, there's so many other super middleweights that you don't even want to fight. You know, and, and I just to name a few, it's like, you know, a lot of people forget about him. I'm going to start off at, at Caleb Plant. Who, who would have who would have him over Caleb Plant? What? Who would have him over Jamal Charlo? What? Who would have him over Diego Pacheco? What? David Morrell, David Benavides, of course not Canelo. Damn. I'm sorry. So, you know, Jaime Munguia, Christian and Billy. So I'm not going to name everybody everybody on, on the Super Bowl super away, but come on, man, we got to do better than that, bro. You got to. <laughs> but I will say this, though. This is what you want from your fighter. You know, you want your fighter to feel like they're the best, you know. So so that's that's that's, that's probably what he meant right there. He probably made he's the best Super Bowl away in his world. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? And that's how you're supposed to be, man. All just aside, you're supposed to think that you're the best. You're, you're, he is a championship level fighter um, or contender level fighter. And, you know, I will say I like Edgar Berlanga. I think he's, he's, he's good, but he's just unproven, you know. But he had a phenomenal streak where he had 16 pro fights and uh, and 16 rounds of professional boxing. His 17th fight was actually his 17th round of professional boxing. So he went on a high streak. When my name come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. I'll drill y'all. But you also cannot ignore that... Um, that was uh you can't ignore that when his competition was got stiffer pause nigga you gay when his competition <laughs> his competition improved you know and, and his his streak suddenly stopped you know what i'm saying and not not and that's the crazy part it, it didn't his, his knockout streak didn't just uh slow down 
it didn't decline. It completely stopped. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's, that's, that's indicative of um, the competition going up and um, his, his, his talent not translating directly, you know. So, but then he did get back on the, on the knockout streak. Not streak, but he got back on the knockout trail with his win over Padre McCrory, uh, who was an undefeated Irishman. But, you know, we expected that. So, but he did what he expected. That's not always easy to do, man. So, uh, so, so Edgar Belange should be, uh, he should be confident himself, but we ain't going to lie to the people. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot to kick it to. I just think, I just thought that was very funny, man. I think uh, Edgar Berlanga, you know, he um, he has a lot, a lot more to prove. Um, <laughs> it's funny in this video right here that he's showing, talk about he's the best. That that's how he's dodging David Burrell. <laughs> He's getting it in, you know what I'm talking about? I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, but y'all let me know what y'all think about Edgar Belanga's self-proclamation of being the best super middleweight. Is he crazy? Is he lying to the people? Is he lying to himself? Like I said, I, I'm, I'm not going to knock him. I normally make jokes about it, but he, he, he should feel like he's the best. You know, we want all our compet our, our, all, all people at the top at the top level, you know what I'm saying, especially in competition, to believe that they're the best. You got to believe in yourself, but that's not the truth, brother. You got to prove that. And if it was the truth, then you would, you'd be willing to prove that. You know what I'm saying? Go get it. Go get Let's get to it, man. I believe in you. Go go, go show us you're the best. Don't tell us. Show us. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. I love y'all for real. Catch y'all on the flip side. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. Peace. Oh, yeah, don't forget. R Richardson Hitchens versus uh, Gustavo Limos tonight. You know, we provide a live boxing commentary, man. Come kick it with us. And shout out to those that do already. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.